Hi and welcome to Web Starts. In this short video, I will show you the things that you need to know to begin creating your very own custom website with Web Starts. Now that you're logged into your account, what you're viewing is called the dashboard. On the dashboard, you'll see a link to your site and also a thumbnail of it. Hover over the thumbnail and click Edit Site to start editing. That will load the Web Starts page editor. You can choose the page that you would like to edit from the drop down menu in the top left. Pages in Web Starts are divided into three main sections. The top section above this dotted line is called the header. The middle section where most of your content will live is called the body. And the section below this bottom dotted line is called the footer. Elements that you drag into the header as well as the footer will appear in the same location on each page of your website where a header or footer is enabled. So for example, if I was to change the color of this logo from blue to pink and then save those changes, you would notice because it's in the header, that change is applied to every page where the header is displayed. The same thing with the footer. You can choose to disable and enable whether a header or footer is displayed by clicking on view and then unchecking the box next to show header and unchecking the box next to show footer. You can bring them back by clicking show header and show footer. Elements that you select within the header and the footer are highlighted in green. To create space on a page, select an element Click on the Smart Drag icon and drag down your page. You can then add new elements to your page by clicking Add, choosing the element type, and then dragging it where you'd like it to appear. Elements can be dragged, they can be resized, and you can edit the contents of an element by double clicking on it. You can also group elements. I'm dragging this text inside of this box, and then I want to move those elements together. Let's add an image to this web page. Click Add, Image, and then choose an image from your file manager. You can then drag the image where you'd like it to appear and use the handles to resize it. If you'd like to swap out that image, double click on it, click upload, choose the photo you would like to swap it with, select the photo thumbnail and click insert file. To customize the appearance of an element, click on the element click on the design brush, choose an effect, or click customize style to create your own effect. To create a hyperlink from an element, select the element and then click on the hyperlink icon. Next, choose whether you'd like to link to a page on your website and then choose the page from the drop-down menu. You can also link to another website by entering the URL, an email address, phone number, files that you've uploaded to your site, an anchor, which is a designated place on your website, or an action, which would be, for example, a light box with an image or video in it. When you're ready, click Create Link, and then your link is created. Whenever you're ready to save your page, click on Save Page. You can view the changes on your live website by clicking View Site. If you ever want to go back, click Undo, and if you ever want to go forward, click Redo. You can also copy, cut, and paste, as well as duplicate elements. You can create both a desktop and mobile version of your website. When you're happy with your desktop version, click on the mobile editor icon in the top right. With your page loaded in the mobile editor, you'll notice three icons on the left. The first one says hidden. Any new page elements that you've added to your page will appear hidden by default. 
You can unhide them by clicking on the small eye icon to the right of each element. If you ever get lost and you want to reorder your page, click Reorder Layout and WebStarts will calculate the best possible layout for you. Click on the Manage tab to enable the mobile view so that when somebody views your website from the mobile device, they get the mobile version. To create a new page for your website, click on the New Page icon. Choose whether you'd like to start with a blank page or copy one of your existing pages. Give your page a name and click Create Page. The page editor will now navigate to your new page and that page name will automatically be added to your menu. To change the order of the pages that appear in your menu or whether a certain page appears in your menu, click on the Pages icon and then use the handles to reorder your pages. You can click on the eye icon to hide pages, click it again to reveal them. You can also use the handle to drag one page underneath of another page in order to create a submenu. When you're ready to share your website with the rest of the world, be sure to click Add Domain and choose a domain name for your website. You can choose to register a new domain name or you can connect a domain name that you already own. If you want to register a new domain name, just enter the domain name that you'd like and then click Search. If you want to connect a domain name you already own, click on I already have a domain name, enter the domain name and click Continue. If the domain name that you searched for is available, it'll say congratulations, the name of the domain name and how it is available. Click Continue and then you'll be asked to choose a plan. To connect a domain name with your website, you'll need either a Pro Plus, Business Plan, or Hire. Once you complete checkout, the domain name will be automatically configured to work with your website. In this video, I covered just a few of the many great features of WebStarts. If you'd like to see even more videos and learn even more about how to use WebStarts, be sure to visit help.webstarts.com or just click on the help link while logged in to your WebStarts account. Thanks for watching.